In a previous Sequoia demo video, when discussing the XYZ to SPRT conversion, we mentioned briefly the precision analysis. Let's take a closer look why this is important. I'm going to create a point loader and uh, pick the serpent mount aerial scan stored in the last file. I'll switch to top view and uh, scale the intensity 100 times in order to see a better grayscale representation of the data. The metadata in this last file tells us that the units are meters and it also gives us the minimum and the maximum bounding box without running explicit precision analysis as we had to draw in the XYZ file. In this case we get the minimum and maximum of the bounding box directly from the metadata and we can tell that the magnitude of the offset from the world origin is 4,323 kilometers. That means uh, that uh, this data requires uh, much higher precision in the storage in order to retain all the uh, decimal points of precision. In this case, we also see that the spread of the data is 2.7 kilometers. This is the height of the bounding box. We could easily measure approximately from uh, top to bottom with the measure gizmo that is uh, about 2.7 and 1.1 uh, across. Knowing this, the point loader tells us that uh, the best mode to store the data would be single plus offset single plus offset actually stores the samples as offsets relative to the voxel in the SPT file using 32-bit precision but the offset of the voxel relative to the origin is stored at 64 bits that gives us the 64-bit precision benefits without using 64 bits for every sample and that reduces the data on disk. If we switch off the automatic mode we can see in single mode we are taught that single plus offset is recommended and the background turns orange which implies that this is not a good idea if we go to double the background is green because it means the precision will be retained but it still tells us that single plus offset is recommended otherwise we'll be wasting this space we can click on the details button and see this graphically uh, the magnitude is expressed uh, in meters and the precision also in meters and we see the integer part of the magnitude and the decimal portion of the precision built together the minimum storage requirement. If we start counting the digits we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and a fraction of the 11th. So 10.64 is the actual requirement and the single only gives us 6.92 decimal digits of precision single plus offset is the one that actually uh, would allow this uh, representation without wasting this space. However, if we wanted to retain much higher precision, we can reduce this number and at some point the red line is going to leave the single plus offset bar and at this point at a precision of 0 0.0089 millimeters, the only option would be to use double. However, in our case, uh, 0 0.1 would be enough and we can uh, try to store this, but just to see what happens when we are overriding and using the wrong precision settings, we can build an SPT cache using the single mode. You notice those diagonal scan lines that came from the aerial scan and now those lines are lost because the vertical, the Y axis was squashed, it lost a lot of precision since the offset of 4,323 kilometers was mostly along the Y axis. The X axis also lost some precision because it's 290 kilometers from the origin but not as severely as the Y. If we switch back to the automatic mode and rebuild the SPT cache the diagonal lines will return because the precision would be enough to express all the data in the original last file. As you can see, by default the automatic precision calculations of uh, Sequoia are enough to produce the uh, best possible SPT file on disk. However, if you're using a file that doesn't contain metadata, for example an XYZ file, you would have to run 
the precision and then build the SPAT cache uh, by manually clicking on a button and if you want to explore uh, the desired precision and request more decimal places to actually be stored in the file uh, you can override this using the explorer in this area and the desired precision slider you can be sure that Sequoia will retain the desired precision while using the optimal storage mode 